owes you an apology. Now, 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 Marvin don't owe me no apology, Angie. And I think you the one to owe me the apology. Miles, where have you been? At the mall. The mall? Thought you were going to get ice cream. Oh, we did. At the mall. Hello, it's your girl. Meet me in the middle. Today, we're going to unwind from the middle with Shawty Duwa from Martin and Miles from Moesha. Y'all know the brother has done grown, honey. He's a mature young man now. Y'all come on and follow me and let's see what he's talking about. I'll meet you there. Beautiful thing about uh, working on the Moesha set is I grew up around a bunch of real people. And as a kid star, around people who were, I mean, I had great uh, examples of people to look up to. One, William Allen Young, Shirley Ralph, um, class acts, you know. Uh, they were, they were kind of like our, you know, general and lieutenants kind of the set, if you would say. Because uh, you got your soldiers out there. But they were the old heads. So they already brought a certain amount of uh, class, humbleness. Um, to their careers that they have had already. We had a bunch of auditions for that and it was definitely probably a scrap between me and like 2,000 or 1,500 kids or something crazy I think they were saying like that was trying to squeeze in to get that Miles role. Uh, like I said I was on a hot streak and uh, Ralph Farquhar and the people who were coming in uh, to build that show they knew how to make an all-star team and they knew what a star was. So I was fresh, but they knew when I came in that room for miles that I can't, and I came to work. I came to nail that stuff, you know. Uh, later on, building on that character, uh, once they saw that I had the natural knack of timing and really could nail those lines, they just were throwing me alley-oops. And I became like a, what, Jeffrey was on the Fresh Prince, kind of to Moesha, where we could throw this kid some some lines and he's gonna kill it. He's gonna embody it with the timing, how he's gonna say it, and that just came from working and seeing other people's work. I'm one of those people who just soak up stuff kind of like a sponge, whether it's the lines, whether it's how people's character, how they deliver, um, and what works. So. Um, being around some great comedians and everybody who's already great at what they do, I just soaked it up. I feel like we had a good spread of uh, attention am amongst the cast. They did a really good job of giving everybody a, a taste of attention um, for their character and somewhere where for their character to grow. That happens with the success of the show. Uh, I have to thank the fans because them continuing to watch. The show started, of course, being about Moesha and her family. But as everybody becomes attached to the show, it gives people... Uh, want to see each character's backstories and, you know, they have to make it make sense of what the, what this person is doing around Moesha and where they come from. So uh, because of the success of the show, we got to see each character grow around, and that was great, you know. And the writers, we just had a big uh, talk on um, Clubhouse, and the writers really poured their hearts out into the show, really put a lot of their own stories, a lot of their own experiences into it, and that's what made Moesha a really great show because it was dealing with real situations and stories. Of course, it's coded with the television hoorah on top of it uh, to make it good for TV, but they did a great job of taking real situations, putting them on the show and attaching it to characters and letting us live it out and do our thing. Like all situations, if you're growing like a family, people bub, he bub heads, you know, whether it's sisters, brothers, um, and everybody was growing into these huge stars, you know, and, and fans picked favorites. Uh, people loved Lamont. People loved Countess for what she did. Uh, Countess was such a dope character as Kim Parker because she gave you that hood girl essence. So a lot of our fans, some of them related to Brandy, but more of them related to Countess because we have more of that hood essence in LA and all these places that we're representing and around the world. I mean, hoods and hood girls are everywhere. Everybody loves a hood chick. So she was more that character. So 
um, her character became huge and an important part. Um, then we also had real young ladies who were coming into themselves on a set where we spent a lot of time together. It's almost like the the real world. You know, you put people in the real world, eventually a couple of those characters are bumping heads. Um, so it was like it was what it was. Um, I think it was growing pains. Um, I think Brandy, as a young lady with so much success and going through so many things and a lot of pressure on her, uh, all of us with a lot of pressure, it only takes certain things to make people snap off on each other. It wasn't something that was often, but it did happen. Um, I think the ladies being young were a big reason that it happened. If they were as mature as they are now uh, and they've gotten past it, I think now everybody's cool. We did our reunion. I'm living. When I'm doing movies, should we having a ball? Um, not only that, uh, I'm getting opportunities to still stick and move doing different things. I did a couple movies while I was doing Moesha, uh, smaller ones that I had some guest spots on, um, a lot of commercials, and keeping myself busy in between Moesha, so it was cool. It was just so much success uh, of the show. Um, you know, we made it to 100 episodes and beyond that, so it was just such a, a wild ride, and it was great. We saw a lot of shows come and go that were some good shows. And it was just like we were standing strong. So it was a, a great thing, you know. Uh, we, we beat Star Trek one week in, in ratings, which was like huge. And that's when we knew that we had like a, a huge show. But Ralph was like day one, the pilot. You know, they've been in the business forever. They knew we had a hit show. Um, third season for us is just that turning point for most shows where you know if you're going to be going to continue or not. So we were still a hit at the third season and we got to ride it out. Definitely different. Um, trying to balance from first school and having a full-time job. It was tough because the teachers that work um, for you, you know, at the school, they, they don't really want to have to do any extra work. And now here's a kid who's coming in like, all right, uh, I need you to special package me some stuff so I can go do it on the set. And I'm going to come like Friday and come try to mingle in with the kids and not throw off the class. But I'm going to do like every three weeks. Then I'm going to come for a whole week. And then I'm going to go back to work and you got to keep these packages ready for me. So teachers were a little frustrated. So once we did that for about a year or two, I started doing homeschooling, which was a better situation. I got to deal directly with my teacher, get our packets, knock out the school, which was good. I always found a way to find kids that were my age to hang out with. I uh, had friends from, I, I play a lot of sports. So even when I was doing Moesha, I still play sports. If I was on contract, I like... I had to play basketball. I couldn't play football because it was physical. So I would do basketball and whatever other sport I could do to keep me busy and occupied with other kids. Thanks for meeting your girl in the middle and we all catching up with Shouty Dua and see what he has been doing since Martin, Moesha, and some other films that he had done. But anyway... If you will, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Did I say hit that notification bell? Beat that notification bell and make those awesome comments. Until next time, woohoo! Thanks for watching.